guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of Pac-Man and we are continuing our assault on Division 9. We're looking to gain enough points to guarantee ourselves promotion for next season into Division 8 and hopefully we can set ourselves up perfectly for a chance of the Division 9 title as well. So coming into the first game with the uh, the English based uh, bronze side against Brescia AS and it's pretty much a starter pack. He's only got 54 chemistry, he's got left backs left backs at three of the four defensive spots he's got a right mid at centre mid and a right mid at left mid as well so uh, I was hoping that we were going to be able to put in a good performance against this side even though he's got a couple of uh, goal players in there and a Barcelona goalkeeper hoping we were going to put in a good performance and pick up a victory but it was tough conditions to be completely honest we're playing in the snow for the first time this series and a great first goal for him absolutely wonderful diving header from Stephen McLean just nips in front of uh, the defender and head of the goalkeeper to put him 1-0 up at half time that is how he went in at the break but uh, he made a change as well brought on Marouan Schmack you would presume that's his other uh, his third gold starter pack player brought on Schmack at half time and uh, it was actually going to be the other way around for the second half we were going to be dominant for the uh, the first few minutes in the, the uh, second half good move in the end but a uh, poor finish from Waite just trickles past the uh, the near post and wasn't really too much of uh, an effort for the goalkeeper but uh, uh, this cross came in and it froze there you can see halfway through the uh, the cross I'm not sure whether that was uh, enough to put him off when defending it but fortunately Gillespie was able to go up and win the header get us back on level terms then just a few minutes before full time we're going to slot through to Vit here really really nice ball through to the right winger cuts inside finishes tidily inside that far post with a really really neat slotted finish across the goalkeeper to uh, to put us in front and unfortunately we weren't going to be able to hold out he gets a lucky deflection off the defender's thigh there whips the ball in and Schmack has too much time and space in the box in the 87th minute he's always going to pop that header into the back of the net especially against the bronze goalkeeper and I left the celebration in because it's one of those Cirque du Soleil ones uh, really really nice a fancy celebration. I don't actually know how to do that. So if you do know the button combination, let me know down in the comments, and I'll try and uh, I'll try and pop it out in one of the future episodes. But uh, we drew that one, picked up 446 coins. It was pretty even though the game, as you can see from the stats. So maybe a point would have been uh, would have been a fair result, but it would have been nice to pick up a victory having gone uh, two one up so late on. But nonetheless, let's open a silver pack, shall we? 3,750 coins for a premium silver pack looking to improve the silver squad that we're building to hopefully take us forward once we get out of division nine because uh, i'm really not sure that this bronze team is going to be enough to manage us once we get out of this division if and when we do get to that point but matthew dilks is the player we pull in the pack or the best player we put in the pack 72 rated goalkeeper from blackpool the other two players aren't really particularly that good just to look at maybe they'll be better in game we'll have to wait and see well i quite like that non kit but uh, it's the first one in the list on the pack, so we actually have to then replace it with the Argentinian Arsenal. Uh, that's still quite a nice white kit with the uh, with the sash across it, and that is quite smart. So we will use that in this next game against Extense, or Extense, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And it looks as if this is a team that he's built with uh, a little bit of money from his start pack. He's got an Emil Heskey up top. Welcome back to FIFA Ultimate Team, Emil Heskey. And then on the right-hand side, he's gone out and bought himself a Sydney Sam, and that is a lot of pace to have out there on that right-hand side with Joe Cole and James Perch in the middle one a cam one a CDM so they might complement each other perfectly don't know why he hasn't gone for a 4-1-2-1-2 mind because uh, that would have helped with chemistry surely with a CDM and a cam but nonetheless we were able to go 1-0 up through way early on in the 6th minute I was quite annoyed when he first took the cross onto his chest that he hadn't just headed it into the back of the net but he redeemed himself kind of controlled it on his chin or in his throat and uh, redeemed himself by volleying it into the back of the net off the keeper into the roof and uh, we were actually able to make it 2-0 just before half time how good is that header seriously I know headers are overpowered right now I'm recording this before any potential patch from EA and headers are ridiculous as uh, you'll see later on in this episode but that header is just absolutely sublime no goalkeeper is getting anywhere near that and we went in at half time 2-0 up really really dominant heavily heavily on top and I was looking forward to playing the second half hopefully going to try and pick up some extra goals and pick up a very very good win but he was actually going to do what we did in the previous episode get himself back on level terms quite early on in uh, in the second half Karani with the header the defender just didn't bother to jump and then the goalkeeper just stood and watched it was really really frustrating and then uh, into stoppage time at the end of the second half he's going to draw a good save out of the goalkeeper then pick up a corner with Karani and it's going to get whipped in once uh, once he's decided to, uh, to skip the replay the whip's going to come in from Joe Cole it's a fantastic delivery and again Karani wins the header in the box and the goalkeeper doesn't bother to try and 
make any attempt to go down and pick it up and we do get pulled back to 2-2 but we then flew up the other end still in stoppage time as you saw earlier on there was four minutes added on De Vitt plays in Vidal whips the ball across Gillespie comes from nowhere late run into the box from uh, the left hand side powers in the header and we are able to nick three points literally right at the death in the 94th minute two goals in stoppage time one apiece and we do take a 3-2 win from that game so that was an absolute relief Sighed such a big sigh when that goal went in because I was so annoyed that I'd let him get back into the game at 2 2. So we are now three points away from that Division 9 title. We have guaranteed promotion for next season. So please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you haven't. There will be links in the description and on screen over the Pac Man to do so. Of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming. And of course, there will be a link over the previous. Uh, emblem on the pink ghost to uh, to the previous episode in this series if you did miss it but that is going to wrap this episode up guys will be of course an episode of the spurs career mode a little bit later on today so keep your eye on your sub boxes for that around tea time and i will see you next time